In this lesson, we are going to create wall reinforcement. The code you can find on my GitHub page or on Beam API with the user interface implementation. All links in the video description. Here is the plan. We can find a curve of the wall and get start and end points. Move the point in perpendicular direction on half wall width. Then move back on clear cover distance plus half rebar diameter. And finally move the point in the parallel direction. That is going to be the first position of the rebar. So let's get started. I'll start with the wall selection. This is mouse selection method from the previous lesson. It returns a list of elements, uh, so I'll take the first one. In this video I'll show all the debugging of the script and you will be able to see how I find and correct my mistakes. Let's start with the, the imports we need. I am not going to import all anymore. Only import the commands I need. And first the transaction method. Let's find the wall curve. Then it's start and end points with the get end point method. The points are XYZ coordinates. To create a rebar, use a rebar create from curves method. Here we need document, rebar style, standard or ties, rebar type, and and start hook types. I'll just type none. Then host object, the wall, direction of rebar spacing, list of lines. It's a geometry of the rebar and and start rebar hook orientation. Uh, use existing shape if possible true and uh, create new shape true. Now let's define all parts of this method. I'll use filtered element collector to find the rebar type that I need. Use OST rebar built in category. Select on element type. I'll correct this mistake later. And take them as elements. Then iterate through all rebar types. Find each rebar name and compare to the rebar type name that you need. As I said before, it is better to break the loop when the element was found. Next, we need two directions. To find the direction along the wall, just use direction property of the curve, not the point, as I mistyped. To find the perpendicular direction, we need to find the cross product of the other two vectors. Luckily, Revit has a built-in method, so we don't need to write uh, vector transformations. Use basis Z property to find vertical direction of the project. Then normalize the result. Next, we need the geometry of the rebar. Here we have only one vertical line, so I'll use line create bound method by two points. We already have the starting point and uh, to define the end point, just create new one, but with uh, another Z coordinate. 
For example, I'll place it 3 meters higher. Create method requires a list of lines, so just add square brackets. Here is how I correct my mistakes. I think it will be useful. As you see, I forgot to import XYZ method. Then grammatical mistake, uh, it is standard with uh, D letter. And uh, here I've made the biggest mistake. I collected not element types, which means I'm looking for rebars that are all already modeled in uh, the project. That's why bar types is not defined. Here it is. But we need to create the rebar in a given position. First, I'll find the width of the wall. I need to find element type ID, then get it as element. Then take its width property. The height can be found using the standard getParameter method. Use wall user height param for that purpose. To move uh, the point in certain direction, you need to multiply the distance by a vector, then add the result to the point. It works fine. I'll create a function for the point movement to make the code easier to edit. Here I pass starting point, xyz distance and two directions. First step is to move the point along x vector on x distance. Then move in y direction on y distance. And the last thing is to move the point in the vertical direction. I'll just return a new point with a new z coordinate. I've made a mistake again. For second point I need previous one, not P1 point. Seems it's ok. Next operation is to move on clear cover distance and half bar diameter. Finding clear cover is a bit tricky. First you need to find clear cover parameter as element id. Then find clear cover type object with the getElement method and finally take its cover distance property. So x offset is going to be a half width of the wall, minus clear cover and minus half diameter of the rebar. The last thing is to create a rebar massive. Define the layout rule. I use number with spacing. It has index 3. Then bar spacing, for example 200 millimeters and quantity. The last thing is the direction. I use bar on normal side method, otherwise it can create rebars in opposite direction, outside of the wall. It is done. That were just basics. But using it you can create any kind of reinforcement project. Also you can download this reinforcement project example with the user interface implementation from BIM API. See you in the next lessons.